Good afternoon and welcome to our Lenten assembly. I'd like to thank Ms. Moscato and her grade one class for preparing what you're about to enjoy. Today is Holy Thursday, a very special day in the church where we remember the Last Supper. Jesus gives us the gift of the Eucharist. This will be especially meaningful to our grade two students who, though their first communion is postponed, are still preparing themselves for that special day. Grade twos, please take Holy Thursday as a day to pray and prepare and think about Jesus's gift to you, especially this year. Tomorrow we celebrate Good Friday. I want each of you to take time to commemorate Jesus's death on the cross. Stations of the cross or prayers with your family are a beautiful way to remember. And on Easter Sunday, I hope you celebrate with joy, maybe even some candy as you remember Jesus's resurrection on Easter day. God bless you all. Please know you'll be in my prayers and please enjoy this assembly brought to us by Miss Moscato's grade ones. A reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus said to his disciples, if you make my word your home, you will be my disciples. You will come to know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered, We are descended from Abraham. We have never been the slave of anyone. What do you mean? You will be set free. He should reply, everyone, commit sin is a slave. Now a slave has no permit standing in the household, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will indeed be free. Everyone, commit sin is a slave. So if the sun sets you free, you will indeed be free. Jesus knows our sins and hurts. He knows all the darkness of the world. He came to show us that light is stronger than darkness. And life is stronger than death. For by his cross and resurrection, he has set us free. I was with him when he rode into town And the crowds gathered round him like a king The smiling faces joined a sea of branches waving For they were masquerading in the air and my heart rose in my throat When I heard them say Hosanna In the highest Oh the bread and drank the wine from the only living vine that we would taste and I watched them take him up the mountainside where he was crucified though innocent and they mocked him and cursed him with their mouths and they told him to come down if he was God and 
my heart broke in my chest when I heard him say forgive this it is finished oh days later I found an empty grave and the stone was rolled away where he had been tears of joy streamed down my face for the angels said oh Jesus did this for you. He gave all of himself, body and blood. Because love holds nothing back. Love gives all. Let us ask for the grace to keep Christ at the center of our lives. Lord God. You love this rope so much that you gave your one and only son. That we might be called your children too. Help me to have a heart of gratitude for your sacrifice. Help me to have eyes that look upon your grace and rejoice in our salvation. Help me to forgive others just as you forgave sinners on the cross. Help me to turn my heart toward you. Amen. Please join us in singing above all. Above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man, you were here before the world. 
above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all wonders the world has ever known, above all wealth and treasures of the earth. There's no way to measure what Oh.